what's going on YouTube um, I want to make this video um, it's kind of like a farewell um, to my 980 Ti which is right there she's uh, settled all cozy in her computer um, today is actually tonight in a couple of hours I'm gonna be uh, packing it up and shipping it off to the new owner um, I uh, sold it on eBay so uh, congratulations to that buyer um, I wanted to make like this little last video because you know I'm not gonna see it again um, but I do want to go ahead and show a video clip right quick of the benchmark um, right now the card is um, overclocked at 1430 megahertz um, the i7 5930k um, normally that's six cores and with 12 threads um, basically I've turned off hyper threading so it's running basically six six physical cores um, all of them uh, running at 4.4 .4. Um, so it's a uh, pretty pretty strong I don't really care for the hyper threading thing because that causes micro hitching and stuff like that um, but I do want to what I want to do is make this video and show you how close this card is to a Titan to a, uh, a GTX 1080 so I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this benchmark test um, what I'm going to show you is that one of the YouTubers ran this same test with the quality on Ultra, and that's going to be anti-aliasing at 8 times at 1920 by 1080. My monitor resolution is 1440p, but for testing purposes, we're going to run that at 1920 by 1080. Everything's exactly the same as the uh, tester on YouTube did. And the 1080 scored 104 frames. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how close this is. So, uh, let me quit this right quick. Going to get some volume right quick. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, part of me wants a 1080, but I just don't know, man. You know, I just, I mean, it just doesn't seem like it's really that much of an up an upgrade. You know, so. But anyways, I'm going to show you this. This is my computer. GTX 980 Ti G1 Gaming Edition. So, we're going to show you. This is live. Okay, as you can see right there in the top corner. GTX 980 Ti. And this doesn't go over 60 degrees Celsius. Which, in the presentation, they said that the card, the 1080... Um, would basically run, you know, 2,100 something megahertz at 67 degrees Celsius, which we all know that was bullshit. So let's go ahead and start this benchmark. And we are benchmarking. You can see the uh, frames right up there at the top. And the uh, graphics card isn't too loud. I've got a custom fan curve on it, so it's not a not extremely loud um, actually you know I actually prefer like I said the uh, hyper threading turned off on the CPU it just seems really clean and I've noticed a lot of games prefer that versus the hyper threading because it has that micro stuttering and stuff I just kind of turn that off just don't really care for that and I was thinking, well, could it possibly hurt the benchmarking? I don't think it did. I mean, even if it did, it would only be about like a frame or two, maybe. But, uh, yeah, man. The GTX 1080, that's only getting, you know, 104.5. That's the latest one that I saw on valid 1080p ultra settings. 
um, that's getting 104 point five frames per set you know in this uh, the last score that I did it was like 95 or something like that and that could even go higher than that because you can overclock this card higher so yeah you know I, I don't know what Nvidia was thinking you know they were basically they were doing the same thing that AMD did with the Fury X saying that it was just gonna clean house and it was just god it was gonna be just an amazing graphics card and now it seems like they're backtracking and saying well you know we're focusing mainly on the vr nobody cares about vr let's be real here you know vr yeah it's all cool in the movies but nobody cares about that that's not even realistic a lot of times they say a lot of gamers they're realistically they play at 1080p and this and that dude how how many people do you think can afford a three to six hundred dollar headset for virtual reality dude and then you got to get all the software and all the other shit nobody nobody wants to deal with that shit everybody wants to play just a pc on their you know everybody just wants to play pc and play games on it nobody wants to do that vr shit pardon my french i just kind of got in a little rant right there but right now, like in really intense parts of this, you know, get like into the mid 70s and then it'll jump right up to the hundreds. Um, but yeah. But so when this is over, I'm going to show you exactly, you know, what the frames are looking at on this. And then from there, I'm going to go to the YouTube page. Look at that. See the frame? See that score right there? 95.7 and the score 4004. And uh, that is what I got with that. And that's with the hyper threading turned off. Uh, maybe some of you have gotten an even better score than that with your 980 Ti's, but the main point is I just wanted to show you that the 980 Ti isn't going to lay down and get smacked around that bad. I mean, the 1080, dude, I was thinking it was going to be like a 40, possibly 50% increase in performance, but it is not that. And them saying that, you know, that it's faster than the 2980s, no, it is not. That thing gets crushed by 2980s. But, uh, yeah, this, this uh, 980 Ti holds its own. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna pull up YouTube and I'm gonna show you where I saw that and um, yeah this is wild man how it only scored like 104 which is crazy And it would only make sense that I wouldn't find the page that I want. Anyway, I figures I wouldn't find it. But just look up the benchmarks on it. Um, you know, you'll see that, you know, that, that, that 1080 yeah it's nice you know it's got really nice uh, new technology you know and any type of new technology is good especially for uh, you know PCs and having lower wattage I will say that that um, the 980 Ti um, it does take a lot more watts and, and it does but you know what man when you're a PC gamer man who cares about watts man that's just that's just retarded I mean, unless you're playing 24-7 every single day, you know, whatever. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I just wanted to make that video just to show you exactly um, what it would do. So, uh, if, I find that, if I find that video, I'll post up the link and uh, tell you exactly where to go to find it. And this video is also for the gentleman who bought my card. Um, I just wanted to show you. Um, if you see right there at the top, 
the temperature on the GPU is 60. It just it goes from 61 to 60. Um, really good cooling unit. Um, my case is a Corsair 760T. Um, so it does have good airflow. Um, I recommend good airflow, especially for a graphics card like this. That's going to be uh, exhausting the uh, the heat basically inside the case. Um, I definitely recommend a case that's wide open area with plenty of airflow. Anyways, um, man, they uh, they better hope that AMD don't come out with something just crazy fast because I know it's going to be uh, the architecture is going to be smaller so you know who knows it might be fast but I'm always team green but you know the way things are going with uh, NVIDIA just over hyping and having you know just you know the bare performance I just man I don't know dude and also too the, the, the test uh, with the 1080 that was done with an i7 the Skylake 6700K and uh, those are supposedly are for gaming and you know and this this scored really close to it man so anyways rate comment subscribe hit the like button I'd really appreciate it and I'm gonna be making more videos if I do decide to get a 1080 um, it is gonna be the aftermarket the third parties with the um, the custom coolers and all that stuff so I know they're probably gonna be able to bust at least 2.2 um, you know on the speed but we'll see you guys take it easy I'm out